Welcome back, mighty mamas, mighty dads, mighty people, to our journey to take control of the mess in our homes, cleaning up one mess at a time. Today's video is another real life messy clean with me for you. If you are in need of that extreme cleaning motivation, but feeling too depressed to clean your house these days, then this complete disaster messy house cleanup is definitely going to be helpful for you. Are you a perfectionist? Do you even know if you are? Is your house a complete disaster like mine is right now? Well, today I will be discussing perfectionism and the struggles of living as a perfectionist and trying to keep a clean house. So if this video sounds like it will be helpful for you, or maybe you just want to learn more about living as a perfectionist while we clean house together, then get your coffee, crank my video. Let's get cleaning together while I talk about it. Okay, so I just want to dive right into it and explain why my house is a complete disaster once again. So my kids have recently been out of school for summer break. They got out about a week and a half ago. And honestly, I was faced with that new adjustment. And I was finally finding that balance of them being back in school. <laughs> and wow, it really changes everything to have them home 24 seven again. Um, and so that has really thrown a monkey wrench in my journey here. But I decided I wanted to give you guys this video because I wanted to show you that this is the real and the raw of living with the struggle of depression and anxiety and keeping a clean house, as well as living with OCD and perfectionism. And today I'm going to focus solely on perfectionism and um, you know what it means and characteristics of it and how it affects me and how it correlates to keeping a clean house or not. So uh, with that being said, I, I first want to state for the record that I am in no way, shape or form giving any type of medical advice here. I am not a medical professional. So if you feel that your depression, anxiety or OCD or any type of mental illness that you are struggling with, if you feel that it has uh, gotten so out of control where, you know, it is interrupting your daily activities or just making you feel hopeless or not wanting to live at all or anything like that, I highly recommend always seeking medical advice first from your doctor. Um, I had to do that myself. There is no shame in that. Every individual is different. So what works for me may not work for you. And that is okay. I am just a mom here sharing my journey of my struggle of cleaning house while living with depression and anxiety, as well as having OCD and perfectionism. And I'm just going to share my own experience with you. I have been spending years and years of research on all of these mental illnesses for myself. And I have already gone through the trial and error of medication and seeking medical help and having talk therapy and all of those things. And so I'm just kind of sharing with you where I am at now in my life, even after seeking out all of that help, because in all honesty, like the talk therapy helped me for a little bit, but the problem was the schedules conflicted. So I found that every time I went to talk therapy, I had to bring my kids with me and that sort of defeats the purpose. And it, these were private things I did not want to discuss in front of my kids either. So I had to stop going to those therapy sessions. Um, but nowadays, I know that they have everything like at our hands through technology. I just prefer not to do that. Um, I have found homeopathic ways that help me after trying several medications that did not work for me that actually made my depression worse or my anxiety worse. So um, just through all of my years of, you know, learning about myself and having mental illness, I have found the resources that work for me. Um, so again, what works for me may not work for you. I'm just sharing my struggle and my journey. And this space here is just to have that community where you can feel safe talking about and opening up about your mental illness and to know that you are not alone. Because sometimes, you know, people are from a place where 
talking about mental illness is frowned upon. And I just want this to be a safe space where if you feel you need to get something off your chest or you need to feel less alone, that you have other people like you here that can connect with you. And that's what this is all about. And the journey of me cleaning house while living with depression and anxiety, as well as OCD and perfectionism, I just decided to share that with whoever here can use that help and motivation to clean their house and, you know, get through the mental illness. So whatever I share about my struggle with mental illness here, um, it's, you know, definitely just from my own experience. So please, please know that, that, um, you know, I may not be the remedy for you. Um, but I am always here for you if you need someone to talk to or if you need a space to connect with others and feel less alone and you need that cleaning motivation um, just to help you clean your house while living with the struggle of depression, anxiety, and OCD and perfectionism. So today's video is all about perfectionism. And what is perfectionism? Are you a perfectionist? I am definitely a perfectionist. Perfectionism is the refusal to accept any standard less than perfect, okay? And that is a problem when it comes to cleaning house, especially if you are a mother. <laughs> um, so this complete disaster that I have here before you, this is the result of procrastination perfectionism. And what that means is that I have procrastinated to clean a small mess and now it has grew into this huge complete disaster because of my perfectionism. So um, let me just kind of backtrack. So my kids are now out for summer break. They've been home for about a week and a half. And let me just say it has been quite the experience because it is a new adjustment for me. I just finally got used to them being in person and I was really doing good with a routine of keeping up on the house. Um, but again, you throw kids in the mix and everything gets messy, right? So now I'm like trying to learn this new adjustment of having the kids home 24 seven, which means you have to cook a lot more, <laughs> which means so much more mess in the kitchen, which means so much more activity around you so much more toys around and mess around your house. And it also means lots and lots of noise and high energy. And I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I am a highly sensitive individual. It is a real thing. I literally get exhausted from certain energies around me. Um, if if the energy is too high for too long, I mean, I it drains me. It drains me. So um, that's a whole other story within itself. But maybe one day I will sh share that here with you guys. But so having the kids home 24 seven, it's been exhausting. And um, my perfectionism has totally gotten in the way of me being able to find that balance between cleaning the house and having them home 24 seven. So this is why my house is a complete disaster once again. And this is just a real life mess for you guys. And so um, I wanted to just share this video with you. This is actually a bonus video. You guys are getting two videos this week. This was not supposed to be the video of the week. The other video is an organization video that I had already planned. This one I spontaneously decided to film for you because in this journey, I want to show you the raw and real of cleaning house with depression and anxiety and the struggles that come with all of that. And so I have to be honest that, you know, here I am once again, ending up in a big mess and I was doing so good. And sometimes you're going to have a setback, but that's okay. As long as we don't lay down and sulk in it and, you know, let it lead into this whole type of depression. Don't go feeling bad about yourself. You don't want to do that. You can't do that. I've been there. I've gone down that road a plenty of times and I have learned from all of my issues with anxiety and depression and the struggle. I have learned one thing is that I will never lay back down and let depression sink in over something that I did wrong. Because you know what? then where is that going to take me? That's just going to take me so far back. And I just don't want to go back to the pits of hell ever again. Okay. So I just know I have to recognize, okay, you know what? It's a little bit of a setback, a little bump in the road. We're just going to turn it around. We're going to start fresh, start new, start over. 
That is the beautiful thing about this journey of taking control of the mess in our home, cleaning up one mess at a time, is that we're going to clean up one mess at a time. And so, you know what? If it gets messy again, we just clean it up again. It's okay. You don't have to get so down on yourself. So let me just talk about perfectionism because that kind of is a good segue into that. So what is perfectionism? It is the refusal to accept any standard less than perfection, right? I think I already said this. So um, there's many characteristics of perfectionism, and I'm only going to speak on the ones that, you know, I struggle with uh, in my um, struggle of keeping a clean house and how it affects me from keeping a clean house and interferes with daily cleaning and all that. So um, number one, I basically, like I said, procrastinated to clean up a typical after dinner mess from a few days ago, which now led into this big complete disaster. So why did I do that? So perfectionism, procrastination, or um, that is a characteristic of perfectionism. And basically what that means is that you will hesitate from even getting started to clean a mess because you don't have the perfect conditions. So basically, you know, the environment isn't the way you need it to be. Um, you have kids running around, like in my case, and you know you're going to be interrupted once you start the cleaning process. So you just are reluctant to start because who wants to start cleaning? And then, you know, oh, you know, your little guy needs this or, oh, brother and sister are fighting. So you have to go stop and walk over and settle that. Or, oh, um, you know, there's a potty training mistake or uh, something happened or somebody got hurt. So when you're a mom and you got kids in the house and you know, like everything that you have to do as a mom, it really does deter you from even getting started cleaning a mess when you have per perfectionism. Like that is basically my experience. And so what did I do? I procrastinate. So I hesitate from starting to clean the mess because I know that once I start, I'm not going to be able to do it as perfect as I want. I'm not going to be able to give it the most thorough cleaning and clean every nook and cranny. And so because of the interruptions or because um, the energy it's going to take between dealing with the kids and dealing with the mess, I back out to the point where I'm like, oh, I'll just do it later or, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. So then tomorrow comes and then or later comes and I'm like, no, I'm too tired. It's been a long day. You know, the kids have already drained me um, and I'll just do it tomorrow. Right. Then tomorrow comes and then it turns out you have this plan. You think you're going to do something and then the kids uh, wake up right along with you. And then you're just like, no, it's too much. So that is what's called uh, procrastination um, perfectionism. Uh, so that's a characteristic of perfectionism. And that is what led me to this complete disaster. So just to kind of have explained what that is, let me know in the comments below if you experienced that too. And if you have any tips and tricks to share with me about that, please let me know. Because this is something that I really struggle with. This is uh, one of the main characteristics of being a perfectionist that I always find myself back in this messy situation with. Um, it's, it's just like I, in my mind, I tell myself, oh no, I'm going to wait to do this project because it has to be done this way and I can't do it this way if that is like this, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know this sounds like so crazy, but I mean, that's the truth of being a perfectionist. And it's funny because ironically, doesn't everybody like think a perfectionist is so perfect and they have the most perfect home and everything's organized and everything's always clean and tidy. And, you know, this kind of is in response to those of you who left me a comment saying that you are a perfectionist and that in order to keep your anxiety low, you have to have everything clean and in order and clean all the time. Um, I just wonder though, are you a mother? Because, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way at all. I'm just curious, like, are you a mom? Because I can totally relate to what you're saying because that was the perfectionist that I was before I was a mom. So there is a difference. When you have kids, your perfectionism takes a whole other form just because ugh, everything is so much harder to, you know, balance. It's just really hard. So that is my biggest struggle. And in this journey, 
I also want to learn like how to balance housework and being a mom. So when my kids got out for summer break um, last week, I was faced with, like I said, the balance of keeping up with the house and having them home and spending time with them, keeping them happy, keeping them fed and all that. So just it's it's a lot more exhausting. Your energy is going to other places that it wouldn't as if they were in school all day. And so I just decided to choose to deal with the kids and put the house on the back burner. And that is another characteristic of perfectionism. It's kind of like all or nothing, okay? There is no gray middle area. And I struggle with that. That's one of my biggest struggles. Like I'm all or nothing like, okay, I'm going to go all in and do this. Because when I go, when I do something, I go all in with it. Okay. But then unfortunately, because of my perfectionism, that means something else is being neglected. And obviously, like our kids have to come before everything, right? So I decided I'm going to put my all into the kids and we're going to have fun every day. We're going to kick off this summer having fun. We're going to go outside. We're going to go to the park. We're going to do crafts. We're going to play. We'll go swimming. We've been doing all the things, you know, but look at my house. It's been neglected. This house has become a complete disaster because I chose to put it on the back burner and only deal with spending time with the kids and feeding the kids and, you know, doing the kids. So how was I able to clean this mess today? You probably ask yourself. Well, once again, all or nothing. I had to choose the kids or the house. <laughs> so I decided, I told my kids, listen, today is the day that mom needs to clean the house. You guys are going to have to play with your toys, play with each other, keep yourself busy. You can go on the back patio. You can play in the baby pool. I can watch them from the kitchen window while I'm cleaning. They could go on the trampoline. They could come in, play with toys. They could color. So I gave them all of their options. And I said, we are not going out today together. There's no friends coming over. This is the day where mom works on the house and cleans the house. So that's basically what I did to be able to clean up this mess right here that you see. And that's just real life for you. Like, that's the only way I could even clean this real life mess is to pick either spending time with my kids, dealing with the kids or focusing in on the house. And I literally told them, you guys know where your snacks are, get your snacks. If you're hungry, they knew where the water was, everything's out, it's all over. So they could help themselves. And at this point in this day, I was like, I didn't even care if we ate cereal for dinner. <laughs> so I mean, like, that's how I go into things in all honesty. And I really want to change that I want to find that happy medium, I want to find that balance between housework and taking care of the kids. And so part of this journey is also going to be that I want to find those ways that are going to help me, you know, clean the house and be a mom at the same time in the same day. So I know that I had offered that advice of starting little and doing something small each day is better than doing nothing at all. And I, I failed. I neglected to do that. I failed at taking my own advice and doing that. I let my procrastination, perfectionism get in the way. And um, it just ha it just got in the way. And that's why I ended up with this mess. And that is another characteristic of being a perfectionist is that we are very self critical. And so if we don't live up to the standard that we set for ourselves, with any goal that we set for ourselves, then we feel like failures. And I have to say, like, I felt like a failure when I got to this point in my house again. Obviously, it wasn't as bad as my depression mess that I have gotten through. But I don't want these complete disasters to happen anymore. And so I'm just been really hard on myself for the fact that I let myself get to this point again. But that is okay. I'm not going to lay down. I'm not going to get depressed over it. And that's why I'm here to tell you, like, if you get a setback in this journey, that is okay. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Because even it happens to me, I am by far not perfect at all. I know I started this journey. I know I'm on it. But I am just like you. Like, I'm going to go through all the notions. I'm going to have setbacks. I'm going to have successes in it. And wherever you are 
in this journey, whatever point you reach, or if you're ahead of me, or if you fall behind and you're watching my videos, don't ever let my progress make you feel like you're failing, okay? Everybody is different. Everybody has their own circumstances. Everybody has different factors in their life that affect their ability to clean their house. So one thing I never want to do is if I'm succeeding and I'm going through this and I'm doing good and making that good progress with cleaning my house, I never want you to feel bad about yourself if you're not at that point or that level where I am, okay? Because I have watched cleaning videos myself and you know there's a lot of moms out there, they do have that perfect clean home and they have their own cleaning channel and um, I admire all of them, honestly, like I aspire to live up to that. And I just, I also know that the downside of that is that it has made me feel like a failure, like, because I can only watch it for so long, because then I feel like, oh, well, I'm not doing what they're doing. My house isn't as perfect as them. And so it just, it was really detrimental to my depression at the time. Like it helped me, it motivated me in the beginning. But then after time, I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't even keep up the way they keep up and I can't do it. And then it just kind of backfired on me. So I never want my channel to make you feel like that because my goal here is to be the best version of myself that I can be. I just don't know how long that's going to take in all honesty. <laughs> and I'm trying to share the whole journey with you guys because I don't know, maybe I could help you grow with me and do it along with me. But like I said, if you're never up to my level at any time in your life, or if you have a setback, that's okay. Just remember this video that I am going to have those setbacks too. It's never going to be perfect. We are imperfectly perfect. And that is okay. All right. Dexter Lee, he's resting. Okay, so everything <laughs> is clean for the time being as you can see um of course you know the kids they're always snacking and eating so i had to put their water bottles back um sorry it's so bright outside the sun is just super bright um but i'm gonna turn you in this way and you can see like i cleaned everything and it feels so good i was able to take care of the rest of those straggler dishes as i call them they were hanging on here so I went ahead and washed them and they're drying. I'm just gonna air dry everything and later tonight put stuff away. Um, that's my coffee cup, that's all I have left and I have to empty that drain thing. But yeah, lots of dishes from this complete disaster, uh, but it feels good and as you guys can see, I am keeping up with my stovetop. My stovetop is not perfect because it's a very old stove. We've had this, oh my gosh. Whew, probably over 15 years, but it is a Kenmore and it's a pretty good brand. It's been holding up. I restocked the K cups and then that's the water that we use for the Keurig. Um, I also restocked the drinking water for us because we do not drink out of the tap. We do want to get a filtration system when we redo our kitchen. So that is yet to come and we can hopefully then reduce the plastic because I do not like, you know, drinking out of plastic bottles. But this is my complete disaster of a pantry mess. And I have tons of different things like the stuff that I've gathered over time. And I'm kind of just shoving it in here because I am going to be doing a pantry makeover for you guys. So that is going to be one of the next um, one of the upcoming videos on the way, but yeah, so I just wanted to <laughs> give you guys the finished result of the kitchen before it gets messy again. And now I am going to move downstairs into this mess and get that done. So going back to perfectionism, there are many characteristics that, you know, come from that. And so what I've shared with you are basically the major struggles of being a perfectionist and how it just gets in the way of me keeping a clean home. And so this is a perfect example of it here. But at the same time, I hope that this video has motivated all of you to clean your house, get up and do something. 
I am going to continue on the journey of making sure I do something small each and every day so that I can prevent this complete disaster from happening again. I'm going to, you know, slowly ease into the new adjustment of the kids being home for summer break. And if you're a mom, you know that you are not alone. We can ease into this new adjustment together. And if I have any like good tips or tricks I could share with you, if something comes up, I will definitely be sharing that here. Um, if something's helping me to find that balance between the two, I will definitely share that with you guys in upcoming videos. Um, but yeah, it's just a new adjustment. And you know what? That is why we are Mighty Mamas because we are the masters of change. We can always adjust to any change that slaps us right in the face, right? So just remember that and all of us are just so mighty and we are all very good with change because after 2020, I think all of us here have proven that we have this inner strength that we didn't know we had. So always remember that you are stronger than you know. You are stronger than your mental illness. You are stronger than your depression. You are stronger than your anxiety. You are stronger than your OCD and perfectionism and you are can take control of the mess in your home, cleaning up one mess at a time. It's always going to be messy, especially if you are a parent, a mom, a dad, or a grandma, or a grandpa, or an aunt and uncle that take care of littles. It's always going to be messy. Kids are messy. So you know what? It's never going to be perfect. And all we can do is try every day. But being on this journey is all about raw and real moments of the struggle of cleaning house with depression and anxiety and also having OCD with perfectionism. Um, and that is just part of what I struggle with and I'm happy to be here for each and every one of you. So I guess I'm going to wrap up this talk right here right now. This was a very chatty one I know but I know a lot of you said you enjoy the chat and so I'm going to keep bringing it because like I said, that's how I started this journey and this is what I intended to do anyways and I need to talk about it. Um, so yeah, make sure you look out for that other video. I don't know if I mentioned, but I have two videos for you all this week and I'm super excited because I don't even know how I made that happen. <laughs> but you guys are getting two videos this week and the other video is an organizational video. It is a continuation of my real life messy house spring cleaning that I started for you guys last week. And we are gonna continue on that, on that organizational and declutter journey. So we're gonna be doing it all, okay? We are doing it all here. And so if you know anybody that my channel can help, please share my channel with them. And please also, if you are new here, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and join us on this journey. And if you are a true blue and you have already been here, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys will never know just how much you help me for being here. And I honestly appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Also, please always be sure to drop me your name down in the comments because I have created a prayer list from day one of starting this journey with you guys and whoever leaves me a comment, I add you to my prayer list and I will include you in my morning devotional um, time and you know, I want to be able to know your name so I can pray for you because it's rough. This is rough. It's, it's a hard life and uh, everybody is struggling with something so don't ever feel less than. Everybody has, you know, different situation. You just never know what's going on. That goes for everybody. Even if their life looks perfect, it's most likely not. So don't ever feel bad about yourself and your life. I'm going to let you guys finish up cleaning your mess. And I'm going to play you guys some music here and uh, look for that other video that is going to be out. Like it's probably out right now or right after this video. Um, but thank you so much. God bless and stay mighty.
your life's been put on hold for far too long When the sorrow and despair is growing strong There is always something good to be obtained From breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained from the mess so I have to put all this up in my daughter's room I honestly just put it here so I can get right back to the video when I was cleaning this goes in my um, Ryla pack because it goes in the car this is my daughter's stuff for schooling so it will go in her schooling bin over there and then this is my son's my older son's book he's been reading this he likes to cook and my goal for this summer is to teach him how to cook like for real so maybe he could cook his dinner once in a while and then this is just, you know, the kids' waters and snacks and all that. Um, and then over here, the kitchen actually stayed pretty clean. <laughs> I just have that recycling to dump and empty out the garbage. But this is my stuff that I work with. This brush was, it just did not work when I did the dusting. I got to put this chalk outside with the sidewalk chalk. This is all the stuff I gathered from on top of that shelf over there and i have to still go through all this but i'm not going to add that in the video uh jack's bike and baxter say hi baxter he's washing himself so that about wraps up the video i hope that you guys got some extreme cleaning motivation from this video and i hope that it was a good talk for all of you my fellow perfectionist out there i know you can totally relate um yeah so stay tuned for the organizational video unless i already posted it and you've seen it already but okay i hope you guys all have a wonderful night god bless and stay mighty